I will have to find a another area for mask toys if this happens. I love the colors. I hate the car. I thought it looked really good when they showed it off. I don't think I'll be picking this up still. I still see Blitzwings ironically on the shelves. When I saw this prototype, I was like, oh yeah, she has like a, a huge, you know, Depends diaper on or something like that, you know. But now you ruined it for me and probably a lot of our viewers. Um, the Sunstreaker looks like a little gremlin. Um, I wish he rolled up into a ball like Sonic the Hedgehog. It looks <laughs> like he's supposed to. I, I do like what I'm seeing. I just hope it comes out in a nemesis color. Which, <laughs> I didn't go there. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> It's late. <laughs> I can't with you right now. Welcome back, Transformers fans, to another thrilling episode of Bob vs. Con. As always, I'm James the Con. And I'm Bobby the Bot. And before we get into all that Pulse Con stuff, let's give a big shout out to The Chosen Prime for sponsoring this episode. You can find a lot of the stuff and a lot of the Pulse Con stuff up for pre order on their site right now. We also want to give a big shout out to our members. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. And if you're just a subscriber out there, thank you as well. And with that, let's get on with the news. And we do have a few things to talk about before PulseCon, so let's just get into it. And the first thing is at TFCon Baltimore, Casey Collar is going to be there. Um, they were a comic artist. Oh, on All Hail Megatron. That is one of my favorite comics, especially Transformers comics. So really good artist. Um, that's really cool. They're welcoming him back. So I guess he's been to other TFCons. But um, if you're a comic collector, this would be really cool to get a thing signed or two. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Uh, I I'm gonna try to do a couple of signatures. I think at this con. Are you keeping it a secret? No, no, no. I'm just. It just came to my mind just now as I said it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are, who are you gonna try to get signed? I have no idea. I just think <laughs> I'm gonna try to do it. You know. Um, okay. And, and I think it's because you know recently so many people have have passed. Um, it's it's kind of when, when James Earl Jones died, Darth Vader, um, Mufasa, that really got to me. And then I then grapple and, you know, I was like, man, I'm old, which means these people are even older. So it do or die. So see what you can do. Yeah. I don't think you have to worry about this comic artist, though. I don't think he's as old as some of the voice actors <laughs> could be wrong, but I have a suspicion that he's not. So, OK. Let's move on to something that I think is going to make you excited, and that's Toy Habits showed off that um, the mask license is being taken over. I don't know if that's lent to them or whatnot, um, by the to the loyal subjects. So they've done things such as TMNT or best AXN figures or Superama figures as well. What do you feel about this? I'm crying over here. <laughs> um, oh, man, this is... This is actually a couple of days old. I was uh, on vacation when when this news came out, but I, I definitely wanted to touch on this. I am super excited about this. One of the things that I've complained about, others have complained about, is how Hasbro was sitting on this Kenner license and never did anything with it. Um, the loyal subjects should be able... To, I, I saw that they're talking about just redoing the line and, and having it accurate i want to see it are they going to have the you know um same vehicles with just like you know the same actions where you push a button and the effect takes place or you know is it going to have firing missiles and all those types of things uh that we loved as as kids so um this is this is very exciting and i will have to find a another area for mask toys if this happens <laughs> and when this happens yeah, I can see you being very excited about this. They do do some good stuff. Um, I did get a few of the best AXN turtle figures, um, actually at Ross, and um, maybe I got some bad figures, but they were some of the worst action figures I've ever played with, so I returned them. Um, but that's not saying that the rest of the line is like that. I just didn't personally like them, but m they look like they do some good sculpts. And my big thing is they couldn't stand up. So if you have them sitting in a car, you should be fine. So um, <coughs> you'll probably be okay. But I am happy that this is going out there. 
we'll see what they can do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come on, Jonathan, do us do us proud, please. Yes. We got some sad news. So TCP is going to be raising shipping costs, just like um, was it Toy Dojo before? Yes. Yeah, um, from one hundred and fifty to two hundred as well. So, just putting it out there. If you do have some things in your what do they call it? Roller stash and it's at 150 ship it now to get free shipping or you're going to have to wait to get another figure to get it. Um, yeah, and I think this takes place October 1st. October 1st, just like Toy Dojo. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. So yep. you take advantage of those stashes. <laughs> yeah. Do it while you can. So we're going to, this is kind of leading us into it. So PulseCon is having some 2024 giveaways. So if you go to the website, you can click the link and then you enter for a chance to win. The giveaways close this Sunday, um, September 15th at 11.59 p.m. So I saw the His Tank and Unicron and stuff, but they aren't on their site. So I don't know if they already got as many votes as they could for that, because I was going to go get the His Tank or at least put one in for that. I'm not interested in anything else. Um, how many things did you put in for that Dino King? That's about what I expected. <laughs> Let us know if you're going to be putting in any of these. I might do the battle droid because I can't do the hiss tank. But um, why not? You have nothing to lose. Um, and Bobby will probably find something to put put down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> Somebody did it in my name, if anything. <laughs> they okay. Go, shh, don't don't tell them my secrets. <laughs> um, All right. Well. Um, Stay with us after the short break and we'll finish up with the rest of this PulseCon news. Well, let's jump into Just Announced. And as you guys know, PulseCon did happen. So here's a screenshot of it. I guess I don't know their names. The guy with the beard is going to be changed out with the guy with the Devastator shirt. Um, Big, Big Mac. Big Mac. And I don't know what the new guy's name is. Um, but Nathan? I did like the new guy. He seemed to have a lot of energy. So um, good for him. He kept on clapping. I don't remember him clapping. Um, before we start talking about the figures, what was your overall consensus on this? Pulse stream, pulse con, whatever you want to call it. I had this on in the background as I was doing stuff at the house, and it felt like the Transformers was rushed. Well, it was because they, they kept going longer on the other ones, and then they only had so much time. And right. that, you know, they... I think last year Transformers was first, which would have been nice, but they, I, I'll hold my thoughts until you finish. Yeah, so it, it seemed rushed, and fortunately, they basically talked about stuff we already knew was coming, so it, it wasn't as disappointing. Like, if this was news breaking and we hadn't talked about it, or if they were showing more things or something like that, I would have been upset. There wasn't a lot of things that I was really that interested in. So it was more so them. It felt rushed than, you know, them running out of time talking about the figures. It just was like, all right, we're going to really go through this. All right, shut up. You got, you know, you guys are talking, <laughs> you know. So um, that's that's was probably the, the downfall for it for me. Yeah. And even then, because a lot of the figures are just repacks, which we will get to in a second. Um, it didn't feel that rushed to me because mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, we're redoing it. Look how cool he looks. Okay, next, because there's, which is probably how yeah, we're going to talk we're... about it in a little bit. Um, the, the only thing of note that I don't really have a slide for is Devastator will be shown off October 27th, if I'm not mistaken. So stay tuned for that. We will be um, discussing that thoroughly on the Bod vs. Con channel. And um, with that being said, let's just get into some of the, um, oh, We'll talk about that later. I have a whole thing for that. So first, we have Cosmos, which is a re-release from the Velocitron line. I'm glad it's coming out so more people can get it. I'm not yeah. terribly interested. Um, I really dislike the two-toned yellow, personally. Oh, and um, the arm and his leg. The arms and the, yeah. But I think the figure itself does look very, very good. I think they should just give up the flag and maybe increase the budget on the yellow, though. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> the flag made sense in Velocitron. It doesn't 
really does, does he ever have like they said it was a surrender flag does he ever use one of those in the cartoon that you remember not that i remember okay yeah not that i remember but i have this cool except for anybody who didn't get it i feel bad for the people that bought it from the scalpers <laughs> yeah <that. laughs> those are the ones i feel bad for. yeah that's bad yeah moving on to a new figure i guess even though it's a repaint we've got g2 breakdown um what are your thoughts on this i love the colors i hate the car because it's, it's not it's not a lamborghini oh, it's not the right car right right correct and that's how i felt about the the first release of this you know so it looks great um i'll pick it up because i have the the other um versions as well are the other um two members mm -hmm. so i'll pick it up to complete this minosaur as well but it it i actually like it better than the the first one that that came out the um normal colors of this the g1 yeah. yeah um i agree i think this looks good um it does have the new toy accurate head which is cool because it was in the box i didn't know the box that had new heads but i guess it did um and they used it on this figure and i think it looks good uh there's things i don't like about the figure but that, i think we talked about that before i don't like the big random things hanging off his back yes. um the wheels stick out way too far off of the shins like if they could collapse a little bit but that might all be asking for too much um but it does look really good the color wise and i will be picking this up too i have the two other ones i plan on completing the set which they said they plan to we just might get it by 2027. Um, but yeah, I think this looks good. <clears throat> yeah. Um, no rush, but, you know, when it, yeah, when it gets I'm done... I'm not jumping at the gills for it, but... Yeah. Oh, and I dislike that peg on the back tire. I just saw that. Oh, yeah. That is horrible. Um, I might be hitting that with a black Sharpie. <laughs> that, this <laughs> just because that's an eyesore. Either which way... Let's keep it going with another deluxe, and we have Armada Sideswipe. Um, this looks great. I don't understand the reference of this looking like a early 2000s car, because it doesn't to me. It looks like a space car, but whatever, you were more coherent on cars back then. Does this look like a mid-2000s car? Well, it, the crazy thing is this looks like a, a Lamborghini you know well cuz it's sideswipe <laughs> but no I, I i get that i'm saying we just left a car that was supposed to be a lamborghini and you know here we have a lamborghini so we you know we can do it we see we know that they can do it um yeah this is this is a, a early 2000s version of a uh really? diablo i believe oh i didn't know that anyways uh, i think it looks good just like the g2 one did but what kills me is they have the mold for a minicon we know that <laughs> and they're not including it we know they have the mold. They could have left off the shoulder cannon and given us the Minicon because he never had a shoulder cannon, the original one. Um, but this does look good. I won't be picking it up. I have no reason for it, but it looks fine. I thought it looked really good when they showed it off. And it it was actually, I was like, why does this look so good to me right now? You know, and I was, I kept on looking at it and everything. Um, I don't know if I'll pick it up or not. I do have the original and I never really loved the idea of him being bad, but well, I, it's a I new made character. It's yeah. you know, it's not yeah. actually um wheel jack. Yeah. Yeah, so so yeah, it's I I, I may pick this up. I think it looks nice. It looks great. But this mold, I have so many of it. And it's so that's, small. That's it's really part. tiny. Um, I would honestly would just wait till Fans Hobby made theirs. Because I know that's going to be the one I would want. You know what I mean? If yeah. they make it. And if they don't, I'm not missing out. On not it, really you know sweet. what I mean? Right. <laughs> so, moving on to another repack. We've got Origins Bumblebee. You love this figure. I do not. But it is what it is. The alt mode, great. I'll give it to them there. 
It's not that I love this figure. I do love the alt mode because it's the nostalgia of the alt mode. Mm -hmm. And it's 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 fine for what it is. Um, I think they, they nailed the alt mode. The bot mode is like, okay, you know, I can tell it's B. Um, and this is, again, another one that I, I'm happy for people who wanted this and who couldn't get it. Now they have a chance to get it. Exactly. Another one like that, we've got um, Ramjet. Thank you, because this is the one I need. And I'm glad that I didn't go the scalper route because Amazon did cancel my order. And I was very pissed about it. And I, I'll tell you how mad I was. I actually bought some um, upgrade kits from non-F, I think it was, back when these were released, expecting this to come. And I have those kits, and I didn't have the figures for them to go to. <laughs> that's, yeah, so that's also why I was upset about it. So I guess I can use those kits from four years ago or however <laughs> long ago it was, finally. Um, yeah, it looks great. It's an outdated mold, but it's a re-release, so what do you expect? I mean, yeah. Not my favorite Seeker mold, not my least favorite. It's fine. Yeah, it's... I'm, I'm just happy that I'll finally have them all. Yep. And then they showed off Tarn. I didn't know this was short pack because I saw I thought I saw him a lot in the stores, but I guess people had a hard time getting them. I like the Creatures Collide, or not Creatures Collide. The four pack. Yeah, the four pack one better. I have them right here, but I think that one looks more interesting, but I can understand if you have a close connection with the character, you might want this original deco. I'm right there with you. Uh... I saw one in store and I grabbed it because I did hear that they couldn't or that the, the, they were hard to find and oh, wow. and I was just like wow it's hard to find here it is right here here's one I was like well let me just go ahead and grab it and you know it's it's fine for what it is I, I don't have a connection to Tarn like that but ended up getting two three versions of it now <laughs> just yeah, because of the, the multi packs and stuff mm -hmm. same but yeah let us know if you're getting this. Next, another repack of Galaxy Shuttle. This is one I did not see at all. Yeah, I did me not, neither. I did not pick this up. I will be grabbing this. And I I don't have a representation of, of this in my collection at all. Never had, you know, from the original or anything. So I will be picking this up. And yeah, that's about yeah. it. <laughs> And it works really well in both train mode and um, bot mode. The space shuttle mode has like a big box. <laughs> and I don't really like that little area of it. Um, but it's not that. You know, it is a very old mold. This is like six years old at this point, if not longer. Um, maybe maybe my timing's off. But either which way, I think it looks right. good. I don't particularly want it so i'm not going to pick it up i do like the helipad i didn't remember them showing that off that whole launch pad thing is very cool how it's blue on the inside with the with the h and stuff i like that um it's fine though <clears throat> yeah i i i don't think I'm, it's worth 60 dollars, so i won't be picking it up but i think it's nice yeah i i agree with you it's probably not it, again this is more so me paying the the i can't even call it a late tax the never had it you know had had this character in the, my collection tax that's what it is yeah there you go so let us know if you're gonna pay the never had it in my collection tax either and next um i don't have this guy's name down but it's the blitzwing repaint what are your thoughts on this it actually looked better than i thought it was gonna look i know we talked about it when we saw early images of it I I don't know we why. We didn't see I like... any early images of it. They were leaks. Leaks. Leak. That's okay. That's and I, I guess we we talked about it. Maybe it was yeah. like a. I put uh, a picture up. I believe. Picture of that's. But yeah. it was like the old one. Yeah. Yeah. So the, you know I, I had never seen it before. So they actually did pretty good compared comparing to the picture you had posted, and those um, fist Gloves. things. Yeah. They look good on this one as like extra weapons using my imagination on the tank mode, for instance. It looks pretty good. Um, I 
don't think I'll be picking this up still. I still see Blitzwings, ironically, on the shelves. And I don't think I'll be picking this up at that price point. If I see it on sale, you know, I may grab it. Yeah. Um, this does have a new head as yeah. well, even though it doesn't look very different. I think the colors are great. I don't like the blue head or the blue sword or the blue nose, the, the nose cone. I wish those were black or green or whatever, because maybe I, I don't know what the original one looks like going to be 100% transparent, but I just don't like it. It's a weird color, even yellow, because he has yellow on the wings and stuff. That would have looked okay, but blue is a weird choice. Um, I like that the alt mode, uh, the alt mode, the jet mode is all gray on the top. And it's mostly green for the tank mode. Um, I don't like that bit of gray on the back side of the jet where it's a different gray from the rest of it. Yeah, between the, the Decepticon lines. Yes, I don't like that. Um, but I think this is competent. I won't be picking it up at full price. But if I see it for 35 bucks, like Blitzwing's going right now, I'd, I'd pick it up. Yep. I also don't like the nose cone sticking out, but that's a design decision I, that I understand. I just don't like it. Yeah. Um, looks vulgar. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got a Studio Series Sentinel Prime. This is the first Voyager for Transformers 1. They were very excited about it. Um, I realize now the in-hand images look better than these renders. Because that looks like yellow, but it was brown. <coughs> but this is what we have to look at right now. Um, it looks like a Cyberverse figure. <laughs> I, I, I don't really like it. Um, I think the, the smaller version looks better than this, honestly. I don't know if I like it or not. I'm trying to take it in. You know, it's, it's like... Uh, I, I I did like how it had two versions of. You mean of, this mode right here? Yeah, but the battle mode. He's like, it's a triple changer. I'm like, no, that's just a battled up power mode. But the in as you said, the in hand images look better than this because this actually looks terrible here. And when I saw it again, they rushed through it, so I didn't get to you know really you know absorb you everything it. that they were showing. But I. I I think I liked it. I don't know if I'll, I don't, I don't like it enough to pick it up. Um, again, at full price, I don't even know if I'll pick this up at all. I'm still like, I don't know, but I agree with you. It does look somewhat like a cyberverse or, you know, it looks like something, it, it would stick out in my collection. Yeah. And, and not I, in a good way. And I forgot to put these in here. Um, but they also showed off the Bumblebee and the Alita in person. And oh, that yeah. Alita looked actually really nice on the in-person model. I totally forgot about those, so I didn't put them in here. But that looked really good. Um, so we'll see. Maybe if I see it in person, I would might think about picking that up because that one did look nice. I agree. Yeah. The B didn't look bad either, actually. It didn't. It looked a lot better in person. These yeah. somebody's messing up these with these three D renders because now that I'm looking at this, it's not as good as the in-hand images. Right. And I don't like that pink on 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 it's just Energon. Very, is that on its back? I don't know. Energon shield. Yeah, yeah. I I'm, mean I'm assuming. That's what I that's why I didn't really care about it, because I thought it was like an Energon thing. Okay. I'll know. go with that. Okay. Now let's talk about the fan poll results really quick. So the best um legacy. Oh, was Magmatron. The best studio series was Commander Prime. Um, the best um, collab was Party Wallop, which we'll talk about that in a second. And the best Prime was Megatronus or The Fallen. I thought it was going to be Alpha Trion, but I'm glad The Fallen won. I would like The Fallen. Um, Magmatron, don't know how that won, personally. Um, Commander Class Prime, I thought that was, you know, made sense. Party Wallop, Complete curveball. I think it only won because Kit isn't out yet. Um, but honestly, I think all of these were just chosen by Hasbro on what's going to be coming out. Uh, they chose I, the two I, most expensive figures besides Tidal Wave. The Fallen is probably going to be another Commander class because it's the popular one everybody knows. And Party Wallop 
is probably not selling because I see 20 of them and they want people to buy them. That's my conspiracy theory for this episode. Why don't you give us your conspiracy theory about this party wallop? Well, I so uh, I thought the party wallop was um, a Target exclusive. It was supposed to be. And this picture looks very familiar because I took it and it, this is at Walmart. Not only that, I actually went to GameStop today and I saw one at GameStop as really? well for sale. Yes. It must have been a limited exclusive or something. Yes, very limited because I think this figure dropped in in July, I think. Yeah. Or, you know, so... Um, no, you got it Yeah, in July because I think it was right after I we went over um, to Georgia. So yeah. it was right after, yeah, mid-July. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, I I, t I completely agree with you. I think that they uh, let me let me not say that there was a lot of people who liked Magmatron. I didn't think. Well, I let, let me let me say something really quick. This is the only commander that I have seen three of in my store for f like a month, <laughs> and not move. Every other commander has moved. Now I I like the figure; it's decent. So I'm I, this isn't coming from a place of hate. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that it's not moving like Armada Prime or Magnus. You never even saw, you know, or Jetfire. All of those, I'd see one of them, and the next time I come and be gone. This one, the three have been there, shelf warming. I saw it once, or maybe I was dreaming that I saw it, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, oh my god, you woke up because yeah, you I were did. ringing it up at the register, right? Oh my god, that was a stop it. <laughs> You're, um, PTSD here now. Um, yeah, I mean, all jokes aside, I, I think the commander class prime, I mean, I haven't got mine yet. You know, I know some people are getting it. There's been, you know, foot issues, which, you know, whatever. Minor, minor, right. Honest. Uh, I thought I really thought Swoop was gonna be, you know, the the one. I I didn't. I one even if people didn't have it in hand, I knew they were gonna vote for Prime just because it's Prime. But that that's you know again, I voted for Swoop because I didn't have, and I said this even when we yeah. talked about. It, I voted for Swoop because I didn't have the Prime yet. But I do think the Prime makes it. the The biggest shocker though is the Party Wallop. I just did not expect that. Now, with that being said. The party wallop is really cool, being that you can change it to any of the the turtles that you want to. That's a really cool idea. It comes with all the weapons; they all store on it and everything like that. So it is it is a a, a cool idea. I agree with you that the Knight Rider I think would have won if it was out. That by far looks the best, has the great features, and the price point is is ideal yeah i i i can't it's the same price but it's mm -hmm. a larger figure with lights and sounds um honestly i think they were betting people were gonna buy four of them for all the turtles because i literally well you did <laughs> because i literally saw like 10 of them at target just recently like they're they're just not moving yeah which is why maybe the overflow is going elsewhere <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think that's really what it was. It it was crazy. If I wow. see it in Ross, maybe I'll pick it up. We'll see. Yeah, maybe I'll go back and pick up, pick them up. A few more. Yeah, yeah. when they go on sale. Deep All discount. Right, well, let's get off of PulseCon and go to the Transformers 40th Anniversary Expo. So there's a walkthrough posted by Watafa, so you can go watch it if you'd like. They showed off some Unicrons, some Prime stuff, and a whole bunch of other different things um but let's get into what was actually um what's that called shown off first thing are the cutest little guys and this is the mochi bots we got prowl smokescreen blue streak and mirage these are the cutest things i've ever seen just like all of them that we've seen and these have my money almost more than any other figure that we've looked at so far besides the breakdown because i'm just completing the set these are these are the these take the cake. They're so cute. I want these. Right? Like I, want, I want all four of them. And, and the, the ones that already came out. <clears throat> and the Mirage, I don't know why. Maybe it's because he's not one of the Dotson brothers. But he he just looks like, even though they all have the same facial expression, 
he just looks like he's about to get into some trouble though right he looks so naughty i love it yeah i would get all these yeah hopefully they'll come over to the u.s but we'll see yeah I'll okay let's get into what everybody really wants to talk about and that's the new missing link um we have g1 rc that does not transform yet they have not engineered a transformation mechanism they are still working on that but they wanted to show off the prototype and sunstreaker so since you are the person who will buy these what do you think about them um it's <laughs> not what i was expecting from you <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> when they showed the rc so I, I saw the rc and i i remember what the colored version looked like you know that they were going to release i actually saw a, a snippet you of mean, it with the orange like, yeah, and I was that like, was a yeah, prototype. The that prototype. wasn't the final was, colors. Yeah, it was, yeah. and I was like, "God, this is like really ugly." <laughs> well, would, I think when they, if they released it, it would have been in the white and, pink. and the pre yeah. Like, I mean, I'm I'm talking about what they were oh, talking what it about, looked like? you, what yeah. it looked like back then. Yeah. I was like, "God, that's ugly." You know, when I saw this prototype, I was like, "Oh yeah, she has like a, a huge, you know, depends diaper on or something like that." You know, <laughs> and I was just like, you know, that's that's literally what I. She, I mean, she, this this RC is, you know, like ninety years old. She, you know, she has the the saggy chest. And, this is the real granny goodness. Yes, yes. You know, <laughs> she got the Depends diaper. You know, her, her boobies yes. are hanging down to her knees. You know, like she, th like this is all. You know, and I'm comparing it to what we have now, of course, because now they've given you know the fembots, fem body parts, and stuff like that. So. When I saw this, it just was like, man, this looks like, you know, Blur went through a, you know, little alteration. You know, he, he went. And so th those are all the things that kind of went through my head when I saw this. Then I looked at the Sunstreaker. And I remember that when they, when they came out, it was amazing. But. Like I said, some of the G1 figures that I've collected over the years, they're terrible. <laughs> and Sunstreaker was kind of one of those that was kind of terrible. So it surprised me that they did this one first, or this one so early in the line. And I think it's also because we haven't really gotten a lot of love for Sunstreaker over time. So that was long-winded to say I will be picking both of these up. But I'm not overly excited about either of these. Yes. So um, I'm going to start with RC. I think it actually looks good for what it's supposed to be. It looks spot on. I don't know how they don't have the transformation yet, but maybe that's just because the figures themselves don't transform. Because um, I'm assuming they have the old things, but it looks like what it's supposed to. But now you ruined it for me and probably a lot of our viewers. Because um, all I see is a Depend <laughs> Diapers. And yeah, but at the same time, it looks good. The Sunstreaker looks like a little gremlin. He does not, you know, with the short little legs, he looks like, a, a, you know, he's going to go terrorize a town or something. He does not look like Sunstreaker. Um, I don't think they did this because it's Sunstreaker. I did it. I think they did it because probably licensing because they are actual cars. So they might not have been able to get a Porsche license to do jazz which it doesn't seem like they're ever going to be able to do um you know or so on and so forth but it looks good for what it's supposed to look like i i know these are supposed to be like the g1 figures but i feel like they needed to have a waist come down with extra legs i don't even know if that's possible i don't know how it transforms that would have improved this figure prime didn't need it prime was already you know more or less in proportion RC looks fine too. Cool. And even like the mini bots, the cliff jumper, and they, they changed those a little bit to make them more um, modern. Cliff jumper, I mean, cliff jumper, Sunstreaker, they just added some elbows and knees and split the feet. He needed to be stretched out a little bit. Because um, literally, you paint him in green, I'll probably pick him up as a little gremlin transformer. <laughs> Half a Decepticon symbol on him. But it looks good. The alt mode perfect mm -hmm. but yeah and i never now that you say it i've never realized how close rc's alt mode is to blurs yeah 
especially in this picture. I've never noticed that before. But either which way, let us know what you guys think about the missing links. I know Bobby's going to get them all. Um, I'll be skipping out on these, and we will talk about one in a little bit. So stay tuned for that. Mm. Next, they also showed off the um, Studio Trigger video. Did you watch this? I did not watch it. Oh, I, you're missing I, out. It was so good. They showed off all the different types of um, Transformers from all the ages. They showed off the Decepticons and the Autobots. It was so cool. Go watch it after this. I'm going um, to <laughs> I, have yeah, the I really movie. liked it. This was better than any Transformer cartoon that I think has come out in at least a decade, if not more, in my opinion. Um, just let the ja just let a Japanese anime studio make a Transformer um, show, please. Please, Hasbro. And I'm not looking at Bobby. I'm looking at Hasbro now. Please just let them do it. They know what they're doing. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like Cyberverse could even... Or what is it? Cyber World. Cyber, Cyber World, World is going to hold a candle to this three-minute animation. Oh, wow. Yeah, now you got me really excited. Okay, well... He'll talk about that next time. We yeah, I, I know. I'm just looking at these pictures and I'm just looking at... like. Some of these characters, I don't know who they are. Um, so, um, which one? The the big red one standing over Megatron. So that's the Predaking repaint from Transformers Go. Yep, definitely. Did. And then the little pink guy. That's Galvatron the... from Beast Wars 2. Great figure. And go back to the previous one. Um, yeah, I know all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Anyways... If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's well worth the watch. Um, it was fun. So okay. I and again, it's three minutes long, so I can't judge it compared to a you know. I get it. I can't judge it compared to a ten episode series. Twenty two minute series. Uh, Twenty two minute episode. Exactly. But I did really like this. There's a scene where there's Beast Wars Megatron and um, Beast Wars Transmetal Megatron and Megatron, and they go up against. G1 Optimus and Optimus Primal, and then they merge into their Transmetal 2 versions and they punch, and it is so cool. Go watch it. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Um, Takara showed off their um, cards. Where is it? The, the, uh, so, the Cybertron <laughs> Autobot Commander toy cards. They're fine. <laughs> you said it so excited. Um, I mean, there's not much to talk about and we have a lot to talk about so <laughs> yeah ask somebody who collects third party cards and and the actually the mp cards uh, which was shown in my uh hall my hall my um collection, collection tour. tour some of these would be cool to have yeah i agree um, the transformers one soundtrack is out stay tuned we will be doing a review on this movie soon we're both going Probably when most of you are watching this on Saturday. Um, are you going to be streaming this? The soundtrack? Yeah. Uh, maybe after the movie. After watching the movie, if the soundtrack sounds good, maybe I'll go back and, and listen to it. Um, I'm, I'm not really a soundtrack person. Yeah, me neither. Some great music musicians like Brian Tyler is probably amazing. Just not my cup of tea. Next, um, Skybound showed off issue 13, so I don't know if these are a little bit of spoilers or if they're just fun. I do not know who that yellow guy is, and that has me intrigued, so I might have to get caught up on these. Um, great covers. There's a Soundwave one I didn't put on here as well that I really liked, some 80s neon pop stuff that was a lot of fun, but any thoughts on these? Um, like you, I don't know who the yellow guy is i saw smokestacks and i was like that doesn't look like prime yeah no those are on his arms oh they're like guns yeah yeah i mean they could still be smokestacks yeah you know? yeah never mind yeah so yeah they look like smokestacks i guess I should he's say. also a decepticon okay yeah i have no idea who that is I, I, hopefully it's a new character maybe it's that one that they talked about the pencil with a pen yeah. and this is him before he like gets destroyed and gets remade into a pencil that yeah. would be funny that would be Out funny. It, but that would be funny. Um, the Megatron looks good, and the Starscream, you know, he got his butt whooped. So seeing him kind of coming back from that, um, yeah, they all look good. Yeah. 
I don't know what this is, but it's a Nankatsu, an FC, um, and Campion, Captain Tsubasa and Transformer campaign. So the Nankatsu SC is a soccer team out of Katsushika, um, Tokyo. And um, the Captain Tsubosa, Tsubasa is a popular soccer, soccer manga. So they're having like a day where you could go and take pictures with stuff and whatnot. So it's cool if you're into that stuff. I'm definitely not into soccer. I'm not into no sport. So I would probably just go to the expo and leave it at that. Yeah, uh, this isn't the type of football I like. So I'm, I'm uh, not a soccer fan. I only watch my daughter play. So, yeah, and that's not even exciting. So, <laughs> this is cool. Um, <laughs> I hope she never watches this. Hey, she, you know, at, at four years old, you know, she, she knows, she knows what what reality is. Um, <laughs> but oh, you know what? Something we didn't mention, and I don't know if you have it in here. I just saw it since it's tr it's Transformers Day. Um, September seventeenth is officially oh, yeah. Transformers Day as well. So. Um, Stay tuned for whatever's going to be talked about on next Tuesday. But yeah, good picture of Prime. I'll say that. Yes. Takara is also releasing some 40th anniversary official foldable containers. So they fold down. They're 50 liters um, and they're pro approximately 50 US dollars. They're cool. I would need like 20 of them. So this is way out of my price range, especially yeah. importing them from Japan. Yeah, I, I I want these. Um, They're cool. They are really cool. They are. They look really cool. I would just want one of each, and um, I don't know what I would put in them. Like you said, I have, you know, gallon seventy five gallon totes that, <laughs> you know, hold so much stuff. So um, maybe I can put comics in there or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Supposedly, there might be a new animated series from Japan. Um, they're going to announce it on September 12th. Um, I'm more interested in this than Cyber World, because those designs are just so gosh dang cute. I love that the helmet is their whole body. That is just so adorable. Um, and I love the Autobot and Decepticon symbols, but we, we really can't spend too much time on these. <laughs> this is going to be one supersized episode. Um, what do you think about this? I don't like it at all. And really? it's yeah. so cute. Yeah, this this is maybe my no, the baby Bobby would have liked this. Maybe. Well, baby and adult James do. Um <laughs> next, a new age showed off SO1 Romulus. So as you see it says no tank. So people are assuming it is Megatron. It has not been confirmed. There are some pre-orders out there that already say Megatron. But as far as I see, they have not confirmed that it's Megatron. Um, and it's a new line, S01. So who knows? What do you think? Before I say it, do you have the other picture for the pre-order? That, I don't think that's an actual picture. I think that's just a G1 screen cap that they took. Right. Okay. So yeah. I don't. I don't have that. Okay. So the uh, and I say that because the pre-order deposit is already being put down by me. <laughs> but I think they're assuming it's Megatron. I don't think New Age has shown off it's Megatron. I I'm assuming it is because it says no tank. But right. they could just go on and say, well, it's another Optimus. And it's not a tank. Well, I you know. Being that they showed, you know, Starscream holding Megatron as a gun. I, uh, I, know, I, I know. I know. I, and this is the part that is really, I mean, when, when you know, we, we say um, here, if somebody does something and then somebody tops it, you know, hold my beer while I go top it or whatever. New Age said, hold my, hold my Energon. When, you know, they said that, when Hasbro said that they were not making... Megatron a gun, uh, a gun and making him a tank. Supposedly, this is going to be a Commander Class Megatron that turns into a tank that will rival Commander Class Optimus. You I mean, it turns into a gun? That turns into, excuse me, it turns into a gun. <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited. I am here for it. Like, take That's my money. Yeah. I, 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 was, I was just about to say, this is, since it's a new scale, I think it's going to be 
toe to toe with the commander class. It's going to be chug or studio series scale, whatever they call it nowadays. Yep. Um, because and they're going to do what Hasbro can't. And I don't, I don't, I'm not getting mad at Hasbro. I understand why they can't. It makes sense. But if you're not going to do it, some legally gray company is going to come along and do it. And they're going to knock it out the park. It's going to, it, it's going to look too good for Studio Series. With what we've already seen from New Age, which we'll talk about in a little bit, I don't think it's going to fit in. It's going to be a step <coughs> above, and then they're going to have to make an optimist to go with it. You know what I mean? I'm okay with that, too. <laughs> I am so, perfectly, we'll I'm here for it. What I'm more excited about are the repaints. Uh, they they had me at, at S. Yeah. Actually, yeah. at no tank they had me. The, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm here for it. Let us know your thoughts below on Romulus and if you already put in a pre-order like Bobby did. But New Age also showed off the G2 Varan. I've got to say, I love the maroon that this guy's giving. And I love that it's different from the red. It's not all red. This looks really nice. I love the alt mode on this guy. Super cute. Super adorable. But I do like this. Did you buy this already too? I did not. But I'm so tempted. Do you have one of these in MP scale? I do not. <laughs> and I'm so tempted. I, I think... I think by the time the episode post, I may have this. <laughs> uh, he, if he thinks that, you guys know that that means it will be. Next, they also showed off a clear version, which is cool for the people that like it. I don't think it really does anything for me or you. Yeah, shout out to Deluxe because he loves some clear Transformers. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not excited about this at all. <laughs> But this one, I think you are. We've got Tremders, which I think is supposed to be Tremors, and they misspelled it. This is the SG version. Um, mm. I'm a little bit disappointed because it's the same colors as, is it Snarl with the, the Triceratops? Mm -hmm. Or Slag? I don't remember which one it is. This is Snarl. Slag is the this Triceratops. Is Snarl. Slag is, yeah. So I'm a little disappointed those are the same colors. Just because... Every one of the Dinobots is a different SG Dinobots is a different color, and I like that because it's the opposite of the normal Dinobots. And two of them being the same is a little, you know, I, it, I don't really like that. But taking that out, it looks amazing. I love the deco they put on this. I love the the like G one ish thing on the side and the little blue in between the spikes. He does look super super duper cute. I cannot get over this alt mode. I want to get it just because he, he's adorable. Um, I wish he rolled up into a ball like Sonic the Hedgehog. It looks <laughs> like he's supposed to. Um, the pink sword is also really cool. So, um, and I took away your thunder. Go ahead. No, I was literally, like, when you were talking about it, I was just like, God, that pink, like, the pink sword really sets it up. It looks like an Energon sword. You know, I, I think it looks amazing uh, this one i do have a order in for because i i am collecting all the the shattered glass versions of them but not, not i shouldn't say but i did pick up two of the swoops so that's why i'm also thinking that i may pick up that uh, maroon or burgundy or whatever version of this and i think i picked up two slags as well so i might be did you I think I did put in a pre-order for two. I don't remember either. I know I did one, but I might have put in for two. I don't know. But anyway, this looks amazing. They're they're crushing it. I I'm very excited about. And that's why I, I'm kind of I'm very hopeful for that Megatron as well. Um, maybe this will help jog your memory if you see the color in here. Mang Motion posted this, and it's really cool. I have to say, seeing all of them in one place is so neat. Um, and you can see what I mean by the SG. There's two of them yeah. that are like the exact same colors, yeah, but the rest the are weird. Yeah. And I wish they just maybe did something else a little different. I don't know if it's accurate, 
honestly. Maybe they're supposed to be. And you could always make something. They ripped off one of their legs to make a whole new figure, which is why they're the same color. You, you can make some sort of weird headcanon. The G2 ones also look amazing together. All of them. Yeah. Um, those are probably my two favorite teams. It shouldn't surprise anybody. They're the most colorful. Um, the G1 toy team, I love how he has them posed, too. They look great. Yeah, the the comic ones have uh, have been growing on me. I don't have any of them, so I, I have the G two swoop, and um, and I did. I only put in for one of the um, slags. Now that's that I'm what looking I at this, now that I'm looking sludge, at this, right? What's that? Sludge, not slag. No, I have one of the. I have one, I have one sludge and I have one slag. I was thinking I put yeah. in for two slags, but oh, it, it, oh, oh, I thought you were talking about the sludges. I'm so yeah. confused. Keep going. Yeah. So, but now that I'm looking, I am thinking that I may pick up the G2 versions of these. They look really good together, and because I love I the two red ones aren't the same red. I don't know if they were in the original yeah. one or not, but I really like that they're different. Yeah, I because I was gonna go and try to pick up the fans toys g2s but it's just so hard to to find them and then the the late tax is ridiculous so i think i may actually just pick up the other four of these now gosh well let bobby's wallet stop screaming and we're going to continue with this which is the casually crafted the 3d fans project dino king upgrade set it's only 20 dollars if you want to unpainted 30 dollars for a fully colored one um it makes it look a lot better, in my opinion. And I might pick this up. We'll see. Um, but it really does improve the figure a lot. Yes, this is definitely... I remember when you got this. Uh, you got it on sale. I was about to get it. And then we talked about it and the size. And it wasn't going to scale with my combiners. So I think this kit is perfect for you. Yeah, and honestly, with the price, the price is right. I might pick it up. We'll see. Um, looks great. Honestly, I, I, have, I have nothing to say. It makes it, it really improves the figure, and it's only like 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, let us know if you guys have this below, or if you want them to make one for Monstructor. That would be pretty cool, too. Next, we've got Pengu Toys um, PT-10B Commander. Are you going to be picking this up? No. Oh, I thought um, you were gonna pick all these. No, well, it's it's um I think it's a Magic Square mm -hmm. upgrade. I already have the Magic Square version. You, but you have both of the Optimuses. Yeah, I'm saying no. I mean, like I have, I don't have a uh, Pengu. I have the Magic Square. I know, version. but you have the Magic Square and the Pengu of the Optimus. Do I? God, yeah, bad. I don't remember. I think you have two of the magic squares. I think one's a tw no. That's you bad. have the original remember. one. You have the one that's a two, and you got. I think you got the toy version. The toy version, yes. But this one, I mean, I, I, yeah, and I have the, the and then you got the, the updated version. one with the die cast. Jeez, I don't even know. I have to go look. <laughs> do I actually have a pango? I don't I think you do. I don't remember getting a pengu. I thought I only you got the definitely pengu. got the oversized pengu commander. Because ah, you were worried. You know what? Yes, 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 yes. I'm sorry. Yes, you I'm were thinking... worried the arms were gonna break on it. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so sorry. Sorry, fans. <laughs> I'm I'm looking. I, I wasn't thinking commander. I, I I totally missed commander. Yes, I do have. This is the 18 inch one. Yes. Yes. I was thinking of the the just the magic square the masterpiece. Magic Square. One. No, That's no, no, no. This is the yes. this is the oversized version. Yes, 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 yes. So, gosh. Yeah, I'm getting this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Damn. we went full circle. Um, I was thinking about it, but you know what I'm going to say, right? There's not enough teal on it. Way too little teal. And honestly, I would just get the normal version. I don't need an 18 inch one. And I wish the gray was silver on his little shorts. I don't like the gray. Um, with that being said, we've spent a lot of time talking about this. So if you've um, made it this far, thank you. We'll be right back after this quick break with the updates. Yes. All right. Well, let's go through the updates. We are going to kind of go through these kind of fast because we're running really over. So first, 
They showed off the um, HasLab at the, uh, the exhibit, the 40th Anniversary Expo, and this is via HJ Web, which is a website. Um, they, if you were to tell me that these were the originals, I would believe you. Yeah. Except for Blue Bolt, which yeah. I still don't like that they use that name. I know the it was used in one comic for a repaint, blah, 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 but I like that bird better. Um, but that is the best part of this whole set, if you ask me. Uh, they look just like the originals, which is good. Not my cup of Energon, though. The Ultra Magnus actually looks better, I think, than the original, but in the legs. But it's yes. I'm happy for anybody who picked this up. We didn't back it because we ha we both have the originals. So happy for you when you get this next yeah. year sometime. And the, and the thing is, I really like this design. I hope fans, hobby, or somebody decides to do it because I would love an updated version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess this is updated, but you get what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eh. All right. Next up, the we have a show. The Squad Busters X Transformers, not a show. It's a video game. game now, they yeah. had a little... Did you watch the one-minute trailer? I did not. It was very cute. You need to go watch it. It actually kind of made me want to play it. Um, it's by, I guess, Supercell, which is the, the name of the company. Never heard of them. It looks, it looks fine, though. So Clash of Clans, you heard of that game? Yes. Supercell did the game. Oh, okay. And that's that little guy. Yes. With the blonde hair. Yes. So, okay. and... And the little medic dude, I played that game too. Um, something they were like you raided islands, and I played that game as well. So um, I played both of those games. So this actually makes me want to play it a little bit. I'll see what it's like. I'll probably download it and see what it's like. Yeah. No reason not to. Um, the chicken is my favorite. <laughs> of course. I would buy a. I would buy a figure of that chicken. It's like tiny. It looks like Mulan's chicken. You mean? Or that um, was a rooster. Never mind. Are you talking about Moana? Moana. I said Mulan. Damn. <laughs> it's late. It's late. I'm like, that don't look like no dragon. That ain't Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking about, yeah, Moana. Next, oh. they showed off the Takara Tomi T-Spark at um, the expo as well. This clear version looks really neat. I don't know what it is, but that super pristine, completely clear looks better than... The kind of clear that New Age does. I wouldn't pick it up, but it looks cool. Um, <coughs> this figure does look actually pretty interesting. I, I do like what I'm seeing. I just hope it comes out in a Nemesis color, which I'm sure it will. Um, but it looks good. I'm right there with you. I think it looks great. I'm wondering why they're... Do are they doing a clear? Version? I think it's a prototype. Uh, I mean... I it's a sample on the... Does. But... I mean, these are all samples, you know, in essence. But They probably do them in different... I think they might have done it to show off the diecast. Ah, okay. That was you see big. it? Like, you could see the diecast yeah. through them. Maybe, that, maybe okay. that's why. Okay. But I possibly would get a clear version if, if it was... It looks nice, right? <laughs> it does. But I, I like the... I, like the, I can't wait to see it in color. I do have this pre-ordered. This looks really good. Mm -hmm. Either way. Yeah, so. I, I agree with you. Pop Mart, there's new pictures of the Optimus Prime, and these are via Shiyo Lao. Um, I couldn't see that it's already out, but it does still look half painted. Not only, so not only does it look half painted, it actually looks like it's been in my fish tank, and you know green when starts to, it, it starts to green a little bit and everything. That's what it looks like. It, it looks like it would be something that would be a design for a fish tank, you know. Next, we've got New Supply FX's All Hail Caesar, um, which is a really cool head. I love all the detail work that they did around it. That's very interesting. I don't know who you'd put it on, but it looks cool. Um, even though, being that I just got back from Greece and was seeing a lot of, you know, Greek gods and, and architecture and statues and things like that, and we were talking about, you know, uh, Rome and, and all this other stuff on some of the tours, it really made me think about this and I will be reaching out to New Supply um, to continue receiving these heads. <laughs> Next, Ocular Max showed off PS22 Ventus, the test shot. More images. Um, and, yeah. 
it's coming together really well. I don't like the size, but it, it actually looks really good completed. Yeah, the colors are kind of throwing me off the test shot with the black. Yes. Um, personally, uh, I'm sure it's going to look better, obviously, when it's colored mm -hmm. correctly. Um, it still looks like Hot Spots a prototype. <laughs> with all that blue, like there's no, no detail, detail. Yeah. anywhere besides like some silver on his, he has like two little nipples that are silver. And then on his, um, his, his, his crotch, there's some silver as well. You got some piercings. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's showing them off. He's got um, nipple piercings and a Prince Albert. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go there. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> it's late. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you right now. Um, but the figure looks fine. Not my favorite defensor, though. <laughs> I'm I'm waiting for x transports to finish theirs as well. I will complete this one. And <laughs> but will theirs have a Prince Albert? That's the I... that's that's the question. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keep going. Oh yeah, that's just keep it going <laughs> got fans hobbies mb25 test shot <coughs> combined modes honestly i think this looks really cool i love that you could switch the parts i love that on the original too you could have it like in fight mode or you could switch the legs to the arms and vice versa and you can have this like battle mode i thought that was really cool it doesn't make me want to go and pick it up though as much as mm -hmm. as bad as that sounds um i like it though it's just not for me. Now, if if they ever do Grand Scourge and make this a, you know, a Grand Scourge color, then they'll have my money just because I've always wanted a Grand Scourge in my collection. But I'm okay without the normal colors. You actually made me say I I taking a second look at, at this. I'm not picking it up, but this does look good. I do like how you can change it to the different variations of it, versions of it. Excuse me. And it does almost make me want to go pick up that prime, which I'm not. But this looks good. This would be the if I did have it, this would be the mode I'd, I'd keep them in. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> Finally, let's end off with Lewin Resources or W Resources M01 Steel Fortress. I, this sounds bad. I, I really want a four foot Metroplex. This looks fine. It looks like it's supposed to look for the version they're trying to um, emulate, but it's not the one that I ideally would want. I'm still in for it, but I'm not overly excited. Yeah, I can see that. For me, I'm the opposite. I think this looks better than the G1 version, just because the G1 version's waist is so dang, like, just, just a stick. And I've never liked that. This one's a little more filled out, which I do like. Um, the colors are weird, but I know that that'll be fixed. <laughs> okay. Having one side black and the other side, is it's supposed to be red, right? With the red yeah. door. Um, just looks weird to me. But again, I get it's a prototype. So I think this looks fine. I wouldn't pick it up for that price, though. No, oh, I'm sorry. The, the, you're talking about on the right side, It's it's supposed to be black. And then... Um, you're thinking of, of the Metro Titan is red, red door. But but is it? Are you talking what about? What is this it? Part? I know, no, I know that. Then what is what? It's supposed to be black. This and what does the other black. side look like on Metroplex? Um, it when I think it's black as well. Really, I don't remember that. Okay, yeah, well, I don't have a Metroplex. Slide it down. It, it it's silver on inside. Well, having them one white and the other black looks weird to me. Either which way. <laughs> um, yeah, it looks fine though. Anything else before we move on? Nope. All right. Well, let's get into what's incoming. First one, I know you're very, very, very excited about. I know you already pushed your pre-orders in, and that's um, that. Dino King. Yeah. You put. You probably put my name in for the the contest. Shh. Don't tell people. Um. This looks this so much better than the Dinobots. This is what it was meant to be. I don't know why they did the Dinobots to begin with. They should have done Monstructor, and I think people would have been happier. This yeah. looks so nice compared to the other ones. Will I be picking it up? No. I already have fans projects, which we already talked about <laughs> in this um, episode, and 
but I don't think it looks horrible. Um, but I've seen a lot of people saying if these were deluxes, I would have picked it up without even thinking. But they're not going to pick it up because it's core class, and I don't blame them. I, I don't see these combiners as small combiners. Like I just don't like it. So no. Yeah, it's not bad. This one you're going to be excited about, though. We've got X Transbots MX24. So they came out and said, um, I. They said the track version and the die um, color scheme and this one are to be staged in September. What staged means, I'm assuming that means they'll be coming out soon. It's September 13th. Mm -hmm. So maybe they'll, that means staged is they're going to start putting them together in the boxes. They're staging them. <sighs> What they need to be saying is they're sending them. <laughs> yes, but I know you're excited, especially to get all three of those. I am. This is my least favorite of all the Omnibots, but it just gets us closer to, again, the repaints and the next, the the third member being released. So I'm, all, I'm here for it. So let us know if you guys are going to be picking this up. If you picked up the other Omnibots as well, and we'll be right back with what is recently released. Well, the speed run is almost over. And the, the majority of what's recently released is the 40th Expo exclusives. Now, did you know that that, um, what is it called? The Missing Link Sentinel Primal is a exclusive to this Expo? I did not. I did not either. So good luck getting it. But we'll talk about that in a bit. Let's start off with the Nemesis Prime. Looks fine. Looks good. I like all the teal they used. Um, but I, I already, I bought the knockoff before this was shown off. So... I'm just gonna stick with that. And that was only 20, less than $20. This one's 50, but it looks good. If you want an official version of this, I think this looks great. Yeah, I'm passing again. Oh, and the chair, I guess. That's the other exclusive. <laughs> I forgot to say that, which the chair looks good too. Yeah, and it's just the Coronation Starscream chair. In gray. Um, in gray. It's I wish I could get that. If that came out here, for a reasonable price, I'd probably pick it up um, just to have one. Next is the Armada um, Starscream Super Mode. Thundercracker in the U.S. Um, I really like this deco. I love the pink face. That shines on this. Um, I do think the Decepticon symbol should have been the ones outlined in white because they kind of get washed away on mm -hmm. the blue. Um, I love the, the the baby blue instead of gray on him. That looks amazing. This this looks great. I don't need it. Um, but if this was a normal release from Hasbro, I would be picking this up. Uh -huh. um, but it's not. So I'm figured, not paying 50 bucks for it. I figured you would be picking this up because, again, this is right up your alley. If I see it, if I were to see it, i okay. still on sale or something like that then i would probably pick it up yeah i mean i would pick this up if it was normal hasbro but then again at the same time i want to see fans hobbies first because we know fans hobby is going to do this deco that's gonna happen um i don't know why why are you looking up there because i'm trying to i don't remember if i picked up the star screen the... you did i remember seeing it i don't okay. think you opened it that, that's what <laughs> so, I was how do i know what you have more than you Anyways, um, Crazy. when Fans Hobbies comes out, we'll see. Because I would rather get that one. You can't yeah. find it now. I don't even know where I put it. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, will you be getting Fans Hobbies if they come out? Possibly. Like, I, I didn't really like the, these. Armada wasn't my, you know, a line that I really liked too much. So I really like the Starscream design, though. Yeah, I didn't like the not as stars. Well, yeah, I, that makes sense, and I understand where you're coming from because you knew Starscream as something different. Mm -hmm. This was my first, second Starscream toy. My first one was Machine War Starscream, which Mate. is completely different than G1. And then I, well, not this color, but you know, right. Um, so I don't have a connection with it, but I like it. I don't. I never had those connections to G1 like you do. Yeah. Which makes Which sense. Makes, makes sense. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Wasn't alive. <laughs> G1 was coming up. Yeah. Um, no mini con. What? No mini con. You're right. But this color scheme doesn't need a mini con. Mm -hmm. 
because I could repurpose it as somebody else. Okay. Because it's different enough from Thundercracker. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I could call him whatever. Thunderscreen. I was thinking Cracker Thunder or something. But that Star probably Cracker. isn't politically correct either. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's That's... just keep going. And we've got um, you said it. On these Missing Link Sentinel Prime. Are you going to be jumping through hoops to find this? Jumping through hoops? No. I already have a pre-order in. And... Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah. So... Um... It looks fine. I don't have I don't have anything that looks like this in my collection. So, come on. So, TFW did say that this yellow redeco is inspired by the yellow truck that he scanned. Yeah. So, I, I looked at it. It looked or reddish yeah. orange when we saw it. But maybe the original color was yellow. I don't know. But on this figure, with the color and the face, it looks like a knockoff. Like one of the very cheap knockoffs that you can get. That's not a knock to it. The colors look fine and stuff, but the color placement and the red face makes this look like a knockoff. It looks fine, though. Yeah. I'll be happy to see it when you get it in your collection. But that does make me happy that this isn't a regular release because that makes me more hopeful that we'll get a Nemesis soon. Exclusivity. Mm-hmm. And here they all are together. And honestly, <coughs> this is a really cool group of exclusives for this expo. I love the green matrix as well. So weird. So KO, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> but I like it. Um, this is what they should be doing with PulseCon. All right. So now that I've seen the, the green matrix, which I hate, this is making me think about that that chicken optimist th that they're releasing with all the, the all the colors the yellow oh green, yes yes with, uh, the after the band that's what this looks like now <laughs> you know we we have yellow up top blue and we have you know green in here you know we just i'm still getting it but yeah i don't i don't i don't see the green matrix that looks terrible to me but i agree with you on the ex on the exclusives it looks good um yeah, these are they're all different. They they all cater to a different subset of yep. the fandom. Yep. You know, I I I really like them all. You know. Yeah. If the Star Screen, not the Super Mode Star Screen Power Links, whatever he's called, was a PulseCon exclusive, I would be interested in picking it up. You know. Yeah, I think these are great. Yeah. Let us know if you guys are picking up any of these below. Um, even the chair looks good. <laughs> I think it was like $12, so that makes sense. Yeah. The last thing we have for you, Magic Square Toys Heavy Gunner is released. So here we have him in the packaging, and here he is being so excited. He just can't stand it being out of that packaging. Um, these pictures would be a Weibo user. Um, what are your thoughts? I... Seeing that, that stance does not make me think of Heavy the name heavy gunner um i'll leave it at that and the i i'm in for it it definitely needs some love with at least a decepticon symbol on it or or something yeah. it it's very plain but i'm i'll be excited to get it I agree. It needs something. I wish the green was brighter. We've talked about that every time we talked about this figure. And the original colors from the from um, Magic Square were a brighter green. Maybe it was the lighting or whatnot. Um, but who knows? I think it looks fine. I'm, I'll be skipping on this until they do something else. But um, yeah. let us know down below if you're going to be picking this up. Or if you already have the Legends. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is this how the le and I want to know? Is this how the legends foot looks as well? Is that how it connects? So yeah, let us know. Let us know. Well, thank you for watching to the end of this super sized episode. We hope it was entertaining. Let us know your thoughts on PulseCon and Levin Resources and Mask getting more released. There was a lot this time. Um, but with all that being said, like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and we will see you guys in the next one. Yes, we're going to see the movie. Saturday.
<laughs> stay tuned. We'll have a spoiler full review very soon. Yes. As always, to all debates for one, see you guys next time.